And I was just waiting for them to rush me, bro. I was like, in my head, I was like, all right, if all three of them rush me, I'm going to kick this guy in the balls. I'm going to try to punch that guy, and I'll try to wrestle. Like, you know, I was kind of already planning what I was going to do. Bro, security took forever. <laughs> <laughs> and he comes up to me. He's like, hey, bro, how much longer you got on this? And I was like, oh, I just started, bro. He's like, are you sure, man? Because I've seen you talk here the entire time. <laughs> He checked you. That fool pressed that shit on my ass. Do you guys think jerking off affects your like gym output? Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you be tired, bro. Is it better to jerk off before or after the gym? Oh sh. Oh sh. The shades came on. You know what I'm worth. Even back. <laughs> the demons out. The demons are out on my shotas. Y'all really gonna spark them shit up? <laughs> That's from like two weeks ago, bro. <laughs> you talking about? No, it wasn't. That's like <laughs> from the mamaste. <laughs> like what? Y'all be like sitting here smoking the cow because I watched the last podcast. It was just you two, mm -hmm. bro. You y'all were just sitting here the whole <laughs> episode. I was like, I thought they just took a puff, but the way you guys just no. Lonzo's better at it. I can't do it for a long time, bro. My I can't talk and like smoke. I'll get like dry, cotton mouth and shit. It's a but, vibe. You're a man. That's a fake ass vibe. Here, That's a fake ass vibe. Fake here, ass by vibe. the way. All right, what is up, Mama Shotas? Welcome back to another episode of the Yay Motherfucking Podcast. We want to thank you guys for coming back. We actually got a, a paid shout out. Our first one on the Tema Mashte and on the Yay, bro. It's from the same guy too. He paid. He paid a little bit more to get, you know. And I told him I'd give him a shout out on both episodes. So shout out to Alberto. Oh shit. Alberto Sim sixty seven. We appreciate you for the paid shout out. If you guys want to do a shout out, um, they're ten dollars. If you have a business that you want to do a shout out with, we're doing them for fifty dollars. So make sure to hit us up through DM at Mamash LLC to get your shout out, Mamash Shotas. Let's work. And also make sure to head over to Patreon.com forward slash Mamash 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 for all the exclusive content, behind the scenes stuff, Mamash. I got some shit too. Remember last time we were here, you were editing, and I was sitting right next to you, mm -hmm. and then that message came in. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm fucking. Let me see. I'll read the message. Isain. Isain. Oh, <laughs> yeah, all right. Shout out Isayin. All right, here. <coughs> OG fan of the podcast, bro. Y'all are seriously funny, and I'm proud of you guys. Yeah, damn, this fucking hit him, bro. Y'all have helped me through rough times, losing my son, a bit of depression, but you guys always managed to make me laugh through the pain. I'm finally where I want to be at in life a homeowner in a healthy relationship, positive mindset. Getting joint custody of my son, turning 22 tonight. <coughs> and I know I wouldn't have made it without listening to you guys. <coughs> hope hope nothing but the best for y'all. By the way, it would mean the world if I get a shout-out for my birthday. Much love from here for Texas. Shout-out, Isai. Shout out Isai. For him. Woo! Happy yeah. late birthday. Happy I know late birthday, my guy. this was all October 24th, but we haven't filmed a Yay podcast since then. So yeah, I told him uh, I'd, I'd read it. Oh, yeah. Shout-out, Isai. Bro, we appreciate the kind words. We Sound, if That's why we do what we do. We feel good that you feel good now, and yeah, Mama Shota, the mother of Chibes Shota. better than me at 22. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing hard to me at 22. Has a whole ass kid, a house. <laughs> when he said homeowner, I was like, damn, I was bro. Like, I'm okay. trying to figure out, I'm going to pay the rent. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, got me to ramen tonight. Got me to ramen tonight. Shout out, you sign. Yeah, yeah, shit. I'm feeling a little crazy. Benny, you got me hot, bro. Why, what you I got me fucked. Damn, what oh, the fuck bro. happened now? What'd you do? You think that the fucking that Messi didn't deserve that fucking golden golden ball, bro? You didn't even hit that. You think that was a you didn't even, <laughs> just, bro? You really think that was a like robbery? You're an idiot, bro. You don't even watch soccer, first of all. What Messi did for the damn, sport of soccer, bro, has never been done, bro. Ever on and <laughs> off the it, field. It's a yearly award, right? On and off the field, bro. It's a yearly award, right? Yeah. Who had a better year, like uh, statistically? Early. Bro, Messi, early. Messi has done what Holland has done. Holland has not yet done. I'm what talking Messi about has in done. the past year. Yeah. Know what Messi's done, bro? Messi, <laughs> Messi yeah, exactly. But what Messi did for the sport of soccer on field and off the field, bro? I can get into detail, bro. Yeah. You are a stupid motherfucker. You should have <laughs> no, you don't even watch soccer. Yeah. Neither do you. No you say. can't even see. <laughs> <laughs> You listen to it. Nigga, you don't even watch soccer, Damn. bro. You have no say, no comment. Shut that was not a robbery. Up, Damn. Anybody else who thinks Messi was robbed from that award is 
stupid, bro. What he did for the sport of soccer on and off here, the here, field, listen. Bro, Damn. Messi, that's never know. been done before. If Messi didn't get to the World <laughs> Cup, is he winning that award? No, he's not. If <laughs> Messi didn't get the World Cup, he's not winning that shit. You're that stupid. He got that award Damn. based off the World Cup. Bro. You're stupid. He, he got that award based on what he did on the field and off the field, what bro. What the fuck did he do off the field? This Damn. Year, Damn. What he did in, in Miami, year. bro. What he did in Miami. Damn. They got never been done before. They didn't make it to the playoffs. Oh! It doesn't even matter. The business move that he did, he raised the bar for any soccer oh. player to ever reach that pinnacle of business, who bro. Who followed him to the MLS, though? It oh. doesn't matter who followed him. We're talking oh. about individuals. He didn't do that for himself. He didn't do that for other people. What are you talking about? Damn. That was solely for him. You were stupid, bro. Part ownership in a soccer team, bro? When the f*** has that ever been, even been heard of by a player, bro? You're an idiot. Damn. It's an MLS team. Exactly. It doesn't matter. <laughs> the amount of team, attention bro. he brought to the MLS, bro, it, like, it's never been I done before, that, bro. Okay? But I'm talking about Statistically, statistically, bro. What he did, Messi has done what Holland has done, bro. I'm statistically, about down. The past year, it's a yearly award. Holland, Holland, Holland did something that has always been like you've seen that in soccer. Someone has a great season. Motherfucker, Messi has a great career. Damn. Name that. Damn. Shut your. I'm chest talking up. about <laughs> this year. I'm not talking about his career. You can't compare Messi to, to Erling right now. All Erling I'm saying, it wasn't a robbery. Messi's bro. at the end of his. It was not a robbery, right? Benny. Shut your. Yes, bro. <laughs> you had me on when I saw that, bro. Nah, bro. You had me on. I started punching the air like, like your homie, the boxer fool. That's your homie. <laughs> <laughs> That's Jordan's <laughs> homie. That's you, Jordan's you homie. You see that shit? Bro. Oh, I thought, I thought, disgusting. I thought that fool was trolling out first. <laughs> nah, bro. And then I saw who it was. I'm like, no. Bro, I, <laughs> there's no way. You know, what the f- that was the thumbnail. The thumbnail was just. <laughs> so you're like, you're like, you're like, all right, this will go f- shit up. And then you, you just see some bullshit. I was like, yeah, oh. Bro, speaking of punches, I almost got in a fight yesterday, bro. What? It was crazy, bro. What Check happened? This out. So, Kiara had an event. It was like an art event. And it's, t- it's called Pancakes and Booze. And at this event, it's a bunch of artists. He took your pancakes. Free pancakes. He touched and- your pancakes. Huh? Huh? We- there's free pancakes there, and then there's a, a bar. Over who's more creative? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. It's just These are my exhibit. pancakes, not yours. It's an art exhibit. And all right, all right. We were there, and then, well, there's booze involved, you know? So, we yeah. get a little drunk, you know? So I didn't, I wasn't drinking. I haven't been drinking a lot. I, I, I went, I was with Kiara. We were having a good night, bro. Beautiful night, good night. We we're planning on leaving that 11.30. It ended at 12. That's important, bro, because that would have, that would have, none of this would have happened, right? Boom, boom. We're meeting some cool people, having a good night. It's fucking fun. We're dancing and everything. And then it gets to about 11. And I was like, yo, let's go. Like, you know, let's go. My sister was going to come. She's like, no, just wait. Let's wait for your sister to get here. She said she'll be here. 11, 11, 10, nothing. I was like, let's just go. Come on, let's leave. And then we're like, no, let's chill, let's chill. 11, 25 came around. By then, there was these three hillbilly-looking motherfuckers, bro, who for sure, <laughs> they give no f- about the art. They're just there for the, for, the, for the booze and the food, you know? Yeah. Boom. One of the, we, are, we have a table set up. This f- hillbilly guy comes and puts all his shit and his drink on top of Kiara's, like, sh- like so the artwork? Like, like, art, like her prints on the table. Mm-hmm. He just lays all his stuff there. And then me and Kiara go over there. And then we're like, hey, bro, like, can you, and Kiara's like, can you move your stuff? And he's like, and then you're like, hey, bro, can you move his stuff? And he's like, well, I was going to buy something, but now I'm not. He grabs his stuff like a white piece of fucking nasty shit. Grabs his shit, walks off, leave it at that. I'm kind of mad dogging him at this point. You know? mm-hmm. I was dogging him. I was just watching him, just see what he did. Boom. He goes back to his two other hillbilly friends. They're like down, down the aisle, <clears throat> just watching them, making sure they don't fucking do some weird shit, you know. He comes back down, <laughs> and like I'm, I'm, I can feel him coming towards us, and I'm like, okay, if he says anything, I'm gonna swing at this fool. No, he doesn't. Say he just leaves. So then I'm like, oh, whatever, boom. So, uh, a couple minutes pass by. He comes back, and his friends are still there. And Kiara kind of walks to the next stand to talk to the other artist. And then we're just kind of, he has like his artwork on the wall. We're talking to him. And him and his friends are right beside us. And I didn't even notice that they're right beside us. They're beside us. And then they're like, yeah, he's like, these fucking, this is all I heard. I was like, these fucking motherfuckers over here, they don't want to fucking let me put my shit on their stuff. Or something about us being, all I heard was motherfuckers. Bro, I, I turned around like this. And I was like, you had to stand on business. I had to stand on business, bro. I stood on business. I turned around. I was like, I was like, I was like, bro, shut the fuck up already, bro. Like, what the fuck's your fucking problem, bro? And I fucking shoved this dude, bro, hard as fuck. And his homies were like, 
Like, there's two homies right here on the side of him, and he's in the middle, and I push him that way. And his homies were like, look at his friend, and they're like, boom. It's like so, like a 40-year-old man on the right, like this like maybe early 30s guy, and then the guy I pushed was like 35. Mm-hmm. Boom, that actually <laughs> happens. I push him, and all the, the three of the guys start getting booked with me, bro. They're and like, I, dude, relax, man. Yeah, like, no, no, bro, what the bro? fuck, bro? Yeah, they're <laughs> like, what the <laughs> fuck, bro? It's like, you want to You want to start some shit? And at that point, I was like, let's go. Who wants it? Who wants it? Give me one. Give me one. Who wants it? I was like, who wants it, bro? <laughs> get this, bro. I get one up. I get one up because I would keep, it, keep down. That part of the story is important. And when I said, give me one. Give me one. Who wants it? Who wants it? And then, boom. They were kind of just keeping their distance. And I was just waiting for them to rush me, bro. I was like, in my head, I was like, all right. If all three of them rush me, I'm going to kick this guy in the balls. I'm going to try to punch that guy. And I'll try to wrestle. Like, you know, I was kind of already planning what I was going to do. Bro, security took forever. <laughs> hold up, hold up, hold up. So then, boom. You're all getting louder so they hear you. You're yeah, like, bro. I'm like, what? I'm like, <laughs> You're trying to get their attention. You're like, and, like, we're just arguing, bro. And at that point, Kiara was, like, holding me back, bro. And, like, those guys are getting held back. And I was, like, just talking shit, blah, 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 talking shit, boom. And then the owner, the guy that's running the event, pulls up. His name is Jesse. About, like, 5'8", five, five, pink polo on, some blue jeans on. Some matching track pink shoes to match his pink polo. Comes in, this guy with the glasses and comb over. He said, hey, 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 back up, back up. This is my event, everybody. Back up, back up. He pushes me. Go to the corner. Go over there. And I start retrieving, you know. And then those guys were fucking like around me, bro. All three of those fools. And then they were trying to get buck. And, and fucking Jesse pushes one of them back, bro. And then they wouldn't fucking like, they wouldn't fall back. And I was getting ready. I was just waiting for one of them to start swinging so I could go. Throw, start throwing bolos, you know? <laughs> and then at that point, bro, fucking Jesse was seeing that these wolves weren't fucking retrieving, that they wanted a fight fight. And then Jesse was like, Ugh. he's like, I'm not the one. This fool fucking takes his glasses off, bro, throws them on the ground, and he's like, I'll fuck all three of you guys up right now. Some gay guy, bro, he's fucking gay as fuck, dude. Like, five <laughs> Jesse's gay? Oh. Yeah, Jesse's gay, bro, and he's hillbilly So you got, a, you, got, you got a gay guy, and you got a dude with flowers in his hair, <laughs> no, ready I'm, to bang it out with some hillbillies. hillbillies bro. <laughs> and the gay guy throws his glasses, bro, and he's like, I'll fuck all three of y'all up right now. All three of y'all. And then I was like, nah, two against three, let's get it. Two against three. <laughs> I was trying to make fun of me at the end, because he's like, because oh, I kept shouting, and I was like, two on three, two on three. I was like, I was ready, bro. Like, two on three, me and Jesse, but I'm Fuck those fools up, bro. <laughs> and then um, by then the fucking security came, bro. And these fools fucking threw a fucking threw a beer. They got me good, bro. One of them threw a fucking beer hard as fuck and hit me like on my ear. And that shit just splattered. Mm-hmm. And then the other fucking hillbilly guy threw another beer at me, bro. And that shit splattered. And it hit Kiara's like paintings, bro. Like she got beer on her paintings and shit, mm. bro. It's crazy. We we messaged the 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 event to see what we can do there, cause you know they should have some insurance on that shit, cause that's someone's artwork. Yeah. You know? It's damaged. And then um, that shit happened. And then when security came, bro, they fucking, they grabbed the guys, bro. And they had me in the corner. They were cool. Like, they were cool with me, you know? I wasn't, like, I was just ad- I was just addressing the issue. I wasn't trying to, like, fucking, I, w- I didn't start shit. I was just addressing him. And then they get those fools out. They kick them out. And then this, like, little, like, Mexican skater boy comes up to me after. He's like, hey, bro, they're waiting for you outside, bro. So just so you know, you don't want to go out there alone. And I was like, nah, bro, it's all good. You know what I mean? We're going to chill here for a bit either way. And then, boom, we just fucking, that whole shit happens, bro. And then we pack up, and I go out there with Yaya. Yaya, Yaya's a writer, bro. She's like, let's go. I'll go with you. Yaya's like, they can't take two Rogers on. <laughs> <laughs> so Yaya's like, I'll go with you. Yeah, we went out there and shit, and they weren't there. And one of the, one of the guys there kept saying, you're a dead man. <laughs> you're a dead man <laughs> you're a dead man like, yo, I, 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 I forgot this part of the story one of the guys the older like the older guy he was like 40 something he kept trying to make me flinch bro and I was just laughing in his face bro and I was like blowing him cause you know I blow I, I, yeah. I, I was like and then he was like oh, like, oh. I wasn't flinching bro I was just laughing at his ass. and on my left all I hear is you're a dead man you're a dead man and then I was just like bro I swear to god I'll fucking kill you guys right now <laughs> <laughs> bro, it was fucking. I would have just started roasting, bro. Bro, it was crazy, bro. It was fucking crazy. Like, what was everyone else doing around you guys? Just spectating, bro. Everybody shook up on us because we were. <laughs> they thought that was art. <laughs> <laughs> they thought that was part of the show. Uh, yeah. This was right before it ended, bro. And 
Shout out to Jesse, bro. Like, Jesse, <laughs> I know that shit fucking, like, a fucking beast, bro. Like a gay guy? Like a gay guy. I've never seen a gay Jesse, guy Jesse, I appreciate your gay ass for having my <laughs> Jesse, bro, just back. thought it was two on three, bro. We would have fucked those fools up on God, bro. Did they Jesse, look like they could fight? Huh? Did they look like they could one fight? One of them kind of did look kind of like he could fight. But the other guys, I wasn't too worried about. One of the other guys did look like he could fight. And then... But Jesse, when he said that, because I, I went back and I remembered, I was like, give me one. Who wants it? Give me one. One-on-one. -on -one, who wants it? I, like, that was me saying that. And this gay guy comes, mad as fuck, and he hits the, I'll fuck all three of you guys <laughs> up right now. Damn, you one up me. You one up me, bro. Up. <laughs> I was telling nah, you. That motherfucker stood on business. That motherfucker <laughs> stood on business, bro. I was like, <laughs> damn. Yeah, bro. That shit escalated quick, bro. I was like, damn, bro. And it was like, I felt like, like, like Canelo, you ever seen that Canelo in, in Caleb Plant? He's like, motherfucker who? Motherfucker you? Motherfucker you? You know what I mean? Yeah. Bro, we think about it, bro. When someone's saying motherfucker, bro, that's like, fuck your mom. Chinga tu madre, you know? That's what pissed me off. He's like, Mother these motherfuckers, you know what I mean? Like, when you hear that from a stranger, they're insulting your mother, bro. You know? So I had to stand on business. It's like bro. you had to wait till you're with your boys to say something. You know, you you walk past. Yeah, he me, walked like, past me, bro. Say nothing. He walked past yeah. me, and I I I'm, and I I swear to God, Benny, I was like, if he says anything, I'm gonna sock him, bro. Light this motherfucker up. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna light this motherfucker up. And he passed by, and he didn't say shit, bro. And he left and came back with his homies. We we're standing next to him, and that's when he started saying that. All I heard was blah blah blah. blah these these motherfuckers. And then I turned around, shoved that full hard as fucking. Business, bro. Like I was like, you know, she had me high, bro. That sure reminds me when you fucking shoved that one kid outside John Evans. Oh yeah, <laughs> 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 I wasn't there. It's because that was the fucking funniest shit ever. I started crying. <laughs> that shit was funny. Because Ian, Ian, one thing about Ian, I thought we were joking. One thing about Ian, bro, is Ian's down the fucking bang, bro. Like even if I get my ass beat, bro, Ian will bang. And this fool, this fool was just being a bitch. He, he kept like throwing little jabs and shit, and we like Ian was just ignoring it. And then you know, no, he, it started because I was like, bro, because he, he was like, you, you, it, made, you I, yeah, go go. Because he was like, yo, something about like I'm, I'm gonna go, to, I'm gonna go to my 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 home, and I was like, you mean your apartment? <laughs> like it's an apartment, you know? But I wasn't trying to be like. Maybe I was trying to be a little dick. No, but yeah, I was trying to. That be was, dick. Yeah, yeah, you're being a bitch. Yeah, yeah. I was like you. From yeah. where we were at, you could see the his his place perfectly. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing blocking. He's all, I gotta go to my house real quick. And you're like, well, that's an apartment. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we were smoking. We were all smoking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was dark outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he's you just well, that's an apartment. <laughs> and he just goes, This fool's trying to get socked. Yeah, he told me that, bro. And Ian just goes, he's all hands me the joint, he's all. What's up, bro? You gonna suck me? <laughs> and, like, shoved them hard as fuck. Then, I'm just all. Like, <laughs> I'm all no, but I shoved them and I got into fighting position. Yeah, like, I'm all so... sick. And then that one was just like, I'm bothered, bro. He was just like, like, he was like, he didn't expect, like, it was like that, you know? Because this was trying to get socked up. And then I was like, pushed them hard as fuck, got him fighting and then stairs. And just fuck you. What's up, fool? Let's go. And that fool's just like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you know what his reaction? His reaction was that you could tell that no one's ever checked him, bro. Like, uh -huh. that was his first time ever getting checked for his mouth. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. shit, because he was just like, oh, shit. Like, he didn't know what, like, I he ran froze. into the wrong one. <laughs> like, he froze. <laughs> the wrong one. Today's not the day. He's the wrong one. And I remember me and Christian are just like, what the fuck? <laughs> we're just like being big snow. We're just like we're just passing the joint back and forth, watching Ian and this fool. Like that shit was funny, bro. And then at the end, bro, Ian apologizes to him. Yeah, I did. I and like, that's the funny yeah. thing, bro. Ian's like, "Hey, I'm sorry, bro. I was joking earlier." And that fool's like, "No, that's cool. If you want it, you can get it." <laughs> <laughs> That fool told you that? I don't yeah. remember that. He but, said that. Yeah. And then we all just started laughing like, bro, get your bitch ass out of here, bro. Like, <laughs> well, you, can you just got like pushed and like posted up on. Now you're trying to act hard. Like, yeah. this was like, you know, it was it was funny as fuck, bro. That fool was bigger than me, too. He was? Yeah, he like, Damn. a little taller than a little No, quicker. fuck no. Yeah, that bro. That fool wasn't taller than you? No? No, hell no. Nah. I thought he was bigger. That fool was like my height, bro. <laughs> Dad, you you're bullying people? For real. Nah, he was, I think he was bigger than me. Like, he's <laughs> no. probably long those height, honestly. Probably, yeah. yeah. But he, he, it would have been a good I don't That would have been a good fight. <laughs> nah, I think he would have kicked his ass. Honestly, that would have been a good one, though. I think he would have kicked his ass. I, I wanted to fight that hillbilly guy last night, though. That would have been a good one, too. Fuck. Literally, bro, like, whenever you give you, like, I feel like the, when you, you're going to get jumped, you got to go for some balls. 
You gotta, you gotta go for yeah. some balls, bro. A huevo, oh, you gotta go for some balls. <laughs> old dick twist, man. You gotta bust the shit. You gotta go for the dick twist. You gotta fucking twist his fucking dick. Cock, bro. Fucking thumb in their ass. <laughs> yeah, bro. You gotta get him with one of these. <laughs> 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 you remember that shit? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now I gotta kill you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now I gotta kill you. Now you gotta kill me. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, I remember that shit. <laughs> Damn, now I gotta kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta kill you. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, so you bro. almost fucking... Want some wine? Yeah, Kiara. Kiara got in the way, bro. One of them threw like some nasty ass kick, bro. Like one of the old guys was like, it was like, <laughs> like one of those kicks, bro. And like, I, I was as I saw that, I pulled Kiara. It's because Kiara got in the way, and I told her in the past, you got a tower, bro. I told her you were there when I told her. Yeah, I was like, if I ever fight, if anybody ever fights, like, get don't, yeah, so this goes for any girl in general, in any way, fucking girl in general, bro. You're gonna get fucking her, bro. If Motherfuckers are fighting and you're trying to prevent it from and fighting. They're drunk. And they're drunk. Yeah. You're gonna get hit. Sure, and it's are. gonna be your fault. And on top of that, not only do you um they kind of put you at a disadvantage, bro. Yeah, yeah, because if they're holding you back and then they punch you, yeah, yeah. Dude, like, you're like, gonna get nah. fucking that's rocked. that's that's the last thing you need to do. The first thing you gotta do is get the fuck out of the out of the way and let your man just, just bang it out. Just bang it out. Yeah. Because think about it, like those guys, because it, it, it was like that for a while. Imagine like, if she was in the way and they, uh, two of them swung. One yeah, of them hits so, you, the other one hits your girl. Yeah, exactly. Then whose fault is it? Because at that point, yeah. like when they're drunk and they're rowdy, they don't care if you're a girl. All you are at that point is in the fucking way. In the way. Yeah. Like you're yeah. just in the way. And motherfuckers do not give a shit. Yeah. yeah. Do not I give could a feel, shit. I could feel her like. Like holding my hands down too, so like no, imagine that, see, like I'm getting my hands no. down and then just get yeah. clocked in the face, like boom. Right and then it's just like, have you guys seen that video of that bodyguard stalking the fuck out of that white kid, no. that Jack Daughtry? Oh yeah, yeah, bro. His bodyguard punches <laughs> oh, the went viral. Fuck yeah, out of some dude. And those, he's like, he's like, get stepping. Yeah, he's, like, he's like, who you talking to like that? And yeah. then he does like the. Yeah. Dude, you, you see a black he, guy do he that? He better he daps him up. He daps him up. Yeah. <laughs> fucking boom. Bro, shout out to that oh, white guy, dude. though. He fucking stood on business when he oh, got back dog. up. Bro. He got up, but just you can tell that fool was oh, just days. He had to, like, man, I keep him up. He was like, yeah. shit. Like, I bet you never does that shit again, now. Nah. Like, you know what I mean? You can't be getting bugged like nah, that with stupid. security. Like, like, people think they could talk to people. Like, uh, that is a up. threat, honestly. Like, I don't think, like, the, like putting your hand out in front of somebody. Yeah. Is like that nowadays that could be if I go like this to you, that could be considered a threat, bro. Like if I just go like this to you, you're can, in a ho- like in a hostile way, yeah, in a hostile way. And if I just go like that to you, you that like like all you know what I mean. What had me fucked up is in that video, <clears throat> Corinna and that girl are just walking up to that guy. You're fucking yeah. crazy, and he's like, "Back the fuck up, bitch." Yeah. He's all fucking smack you too, <laughs> and then they both like get back. But it's like, bro, it's girls. Like, I'm not saying every girl, but, mm-hmm. like, a lot of girls will get in the fucking face of a guy. After like, they just like, thinking, like, oh, this guy won't hit me, yeah. and the motherfucker will, like, yeah. and shit. And that's what's, like, they got, they're brave, bro. Like, yeah. some girls are brave, because they'll just get in the fucking guy's face yeah. as he's pissed and just egg him on, and yeah. then get surprised when a dude, like, you should never hit her, hit a girl, yeah. but, like, they get surprised. In the moment? Yeah. yeah. Exactly, bro. Shit's fun. That's how my weekend went. I like seeing <laughs> shit like that, though. When <laughs> just shit like that, it's just funny. That shit's funny to me, man. That shit. <laughs> Motherfuckers Pretty get Louis. crazy on. Pretty Louis. What'd you guys do this weekend? Any Kicked fights? it, chill. Yeah. Not a damn thing. I want to go hit the gym. Rap. How was, How was that? that? Come on, bro. His riff rap. What do you mean? <laughs> Tiptoeing in my jaws. <laughs> and then he, he performed the only fuck with hoes who rock Dolce and Cabana. I bet Don't tickets you? were like 12 bucks, bro. I got in for free. Shout oh, out Codine. Shit. Codine IX, he always hooks me up, bro. I think I'm going to start doing work with the Moxie. He hit me up. He's like, yo, you should come down. Come do some work with the, the Moxie. Like what? I don't know. I think he like hosts events and just kind of like, he told me he, when, he, when I was there, he's like, you bring your interview shit? And I was like, nah. He's like, oh, come on, bro. Maybe he was probably gonna give me. He's probably gonna. He's probably gonna give me in the room of riff rap, bro. That would have been cool. Yeah. Oh, Chop bro. it up with Mr. Yeah. Porch Panamera Raw. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? How no, many dude, people were there? Riff rap, uh, cap, like twenty. No more than a hundred. Maybe like sixty, eighty. Sixty, eighty people around there. Mm-hmm. He had a little merch booth, but you could tell Riff Rap was just trying to fucking. He got on stage, did a song. Did another song like it was just a mix, bro. Like this motherfucker did not take one break, did not say like one little thing. He did a song, 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 and at the very end, he's like, "Thank y'all for thank y'all for popping out. Go to the merch booth. 
was doing autographs, meet and greets. We signing babies' foreheads. And then he got off stage. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just hear the mic drop. And then the mic drop, bro. And that would just That's do. it? That was it. I'm to get his money, get the fuck yeah, out of this town, though. money, get the fuck out of there, bro, bro. Shit, to get 80 people to pull up, like in Greeley, though? That's, yeah, that's, that's pretty I bet it was all juggalos, too. Mr. Jody High Roller himself. That was a lot yeah. of white people. I'll give him that. A lot of white people were singing their hearts out, bro. Word. Mr. Jody High Roller himself. I don't know one Riff Raff song, bro. Besides that fucking Tip-toe sick ass Jordan. freestyle. <laughs> <laughs> Besides that dope ass freestyle. That's what he said. Yeah, that shit was hard. He got bars low key. He said, I remember that fool was trying to, like, prepare for the WWE. Like, he was getting oh, in shape. Yeah, 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 I remember that. He, he even got on steroids and shit. Yeah, yeah. He wasn't as buff as uh, when I saw him on, like, the when he was on that run. He's, yeah. he's buff, don't get me wrong, but he would, at one point, that motherfucker was looking like John Cena, yeah. bro. Yeah, that motherfucker was big. Oh, I was like, damn. They say John Cena just officially retired last night, bro. Yeah, yeah. for real. The end of the era. In Saudi Arabia. I think he's going to retire next year at WrestleMania. What up with Logan Paul fucking brass knuckling my homie Rey Mysterio like that? That's a bitch, dog. The disrespect, bro. Fuck Rey, Logan Paul for that. For real, bro. Fuck no, honestly, man. he's actually really good in that shit. Yeah, he's good, He's really bro. good. I feel like but. Dylan Dennis would be good in the WWE. The promo for that. <laughs> you think promo? so? Fuck yeah. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen anybody promo like... Let's name the top three like promoters, bro. Like self-made promoters. Connor's up there for sure. Like real fighting or you or WWE? Just any any promoting, any promoting that will bring a crowd or just get people talking. The Rock, Stone The Rock's Cole, a good Stone promoter. Cold Steve Austin, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Those two, those two. Are t- Ric Flair, Ric Flair was that. Ric, Ric Flair inspired everybody. <laughs> yeah. Ric Flair father. was like the first wrestler to just be like, I'm flashy, I get bitches, I get money, yeah. like type Ric wrestler. Don't wrestler. give a fuck. He's the one who inspired like all these The Rock, Stone Cold, all of them, all of them, and shit. Who's the best promoter in the UFC right now? Right now? Active. Probably, um... Sean Strickland? No? No. No. Colby? Colby, yeah. Colby, Colby Covington. Yeah, he just did some shit with the Note Boys. He did? Yeah, it just dropped, like, fucking last week. And shit. Yeah, Colby, for sure. Sean this O'Malley. Shit talking. Sean O'Malley is up there, too. And That's shit. it. <laughs> That's pretty much it, bro, because Adesanya's not fighting right now. Well, he's not really a good promoter, Adesanya. He used to be. He used to be, yeah. <laughs> George Masvidal was good too. Oh, Masvidal was a yeah. beast. Conor McGregor, he's fucking good. The goat. He's fucking good. That promoting. That food probably sucks dick at fighting now, but you you'll still like a million people will still buy that shit. Yeah, just for sure. It. What he did with what is he still hold the number one record with Mayweather? For no, the, it's the, number two. Manny Pacquiao, Mayweather hold the number one. That's number one. Yeah. Number two is Mayweather, Conor Mayweather. McGregor. Damn. Yeah, her. Wait, Louis. Yeah, her. Did you go to the gym today or what? I did, yeah. Anything, yes, sir. Yes, we about? did. Nah, not today, bro. Not today. Not no, today. no people working out in the sauna. <laughs> bro, that shit happens all the time. That bro, you annoying. be washing your hands after the gym? Be honest. With I'd be guy. sanitizing. That's what I'm wondering, bro. You gotta hit your fucking phone with one of them wipes. That yeah, shit bro. Do you guys wipe down your gear after the gym? What? Do you guys wipe down your gear after the gym? What gear? What like the equipment? Like whatever you use. Yeah. Oh yeah. You wipe. Yeah, down. that's you common like, courtesy. Dirty, bro. You nasty as fuck. You say something to somebody who doesn't. If wipe you down if you don't re-rack nah. your weights, you're a bitch. Re-rack if you don't wipe if, if if you don't wipe down your equipment, you're a yeah. fucking nasty ass bitch. All right, here's a scenario. You're working out. You just finished. Some guy goes, "Hey, you done?" You say, "Yeah." Do you go wipe down the equipment or yeah. do you just let him do it? No, you yeah. wipe it down. Sometimes. Uh-huh. Like, um, fucking, because I've been asked, and I'm like, yeah, just let me wipe it down real quick. And they'll be like, no, you're good. And I'm just like, all right, fuck it. Like, okay. Okay. Take it there's people you know? who don't care. And shit, like, Do you wipe down your gear before you use it and after, or just after you use it? No, just after. I've seen some people where, fucking, they wipe it before and after. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you do that? No, I just, mm-hmm. after. It's too much work, man. Yeah. Too many wipeies, bro. Yeah. The motherfuckers, you should see my gym bag. I got like bro, 30 of those bitches in there. I'd be having like <laughs> eight of them. Yeah, I'd be having eight of the bitches in my pocket by the end of the workout. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm fucking shit in my pocket. No, bro. Shit, no. The, no worst, the worst is when there's no fucking wipes. That shit is trash, dude. It's, that shit happens a lot at Gold's, too. Is that like legal? What? Like, can you, is that like, can you get like in legal trouble for that? No. Like, not supplying <laughs> wipes to the, like, the. No. No? No. I mean, not really. It's just fucking 
No. no? <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where I'm going with this. Just there's, there's been a time where I've been at a gym and I've gone to every little fucking wipey station and, and they're Vasa all Finn. fucking, yeah. <laughs> sure, fucking bro. Vasa Fitness, get your shit together, bro. Get a bunch of shit hands working there, bro. Uh, <laughs> 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 a bunch of dumbasses that are just up there, like, they're Chilling. up there fucking doing the Dougie behind the fucking, like, <laughs> the counter. They're over there doing hands, bullshitting back there, bro. Not doing a damn. <laughs> no. Nah, and then you go up and tell them, like, hey, you guys are out of wipes. And they're like, oh, okay. <laughs> and then just fucking turn around. You're like, fuck y'all, bro. Oh, <laughs> Shit. No, no, no. Like, it's some bullshit. So, yeah, that's one thing. It's the fucking white piece. Got me fucked up. What's fuck like that. The, what's like the worst gym you've ever been to, bro? The worst gym I've ever been to? Yeah. Uh, Inspire Fitness. Way back then. <laughs> Which one's Inspire? Which one's that one? It's, it's uh, that one that was yellow everywhere. Yellow oh, and green, bro. That was the one that was before. Like, Ten bucks awesome. a month. Yeah. Off of twenty third yeah. by Heath. Uh, yeah, yeah, oh, right there, right in front of Wells Fargo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I think that's probably one of the worst gyms ever, bro. <laughs> yeah. bro the bro. Ames old gym was pretty gross, though. Yeah, but I liked it because not that many people went. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> one time I was like traveling for work and I had to stay in this like one little shitty town, bro. And they had like a little gym. <laughs> and I went and hit it up and shit. And you know those carabiners, those little clips uh-huh. that for the cables. Dog, just to get one of them shit, you gotta go give them your ID, and they give you a fucking carabiner. What? Just to, cause like, cause the people just be stealing them shits. No. And stuff, yeah. And this gym was run the fuck down, bro. Be honest with me. How much equipment have you fucking stole from Vasa? <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> Vasa? <laughs> yeah. Bro, I stole a foam roller from there one time. He stole what? <laughs> a foam roller. A foam roller? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Allegedly. I just dropped it in half. I know those girls who steal their fu- the, the, the little ankle, booty bands? The, the ankle oh, things. Oh, the straps? Yeah, the, the ankle strap. Yeah. I know oh, girls. Bitches who, be stealing them? Yeah. What can you steal from the gym? Anything. <laughs> Some dumbbells? <laughs> at Vasa, anything, bro. Well, just look at the staff and be like, these motherfuckers ain't going to notice this. <laughs> Alan works there, bro. Some yeah. dumbbells? <laughs> dumbbell? You can steal fucking dumbbells. You, you, you can steal a bench somehow? Nah, no, nah, that's too much. I mean, you can, but it's just how would you get away with it? You know, like <laughs> imagine stealing the the heaviest dumbbells in your backpack. <laughs> <laughs> You're walking with your backpack like this. Just I don't know. Fuck no, bro. No, that's I'm trying crazy. to think of like what was the most awkward shit that ever happened to me at the gym. The most awkward thing that happened to you at the gym, mm. bro. What do you think how it was? One time, bro, when I was working there. It was like a Sunday, dog. Mm-hmm. And this mom, when she was Mexican, came in mad as fuck, mm-hmm. like pissed, demanding to see our cameras because she had said that the night before her daughter had got jumped in Vasa. In and I, Vasa? I had, yeah, I had worked the night before. I was like, ain't no fucking way, bitch. Like, I would have heard about this shit. I was you know? here. I was here. But it turns out that she's demanding to see the cameras, like telling she's going to call the police, like, why didn't we protect her? Like, we fucking fail. She wants to cancel her membership. And then I'm like, what the fuck? I was like, what are you talking about? Like, ain't shit happened here last night. Like, well, what do you guys know? I was like, well, where'd this fight happen at? And this girl, the, the, she brought her daughter in. The daughter is like 16, 17. Damn. Comes in. She's like, it happened over there. Like, by, um, you know, we go to the, the cinema room yeah. over there, like in that little Corner. pod. But there's a camera there. You can yeah. see perfectly, bro. I'm like, well, what time was it around? So I go and check. And shit. Ain't shit. Nobody even went there. <laughs> and then, but this girl has a black eye. Like, she had got beat up. Yeah. But it turns out. Just not there. Not, that's, exactly. So I, I'm like, what happened? So her mom's like, I had to use the restroom. And I tell this girl, I'm like, hey. I was like, you didn't get beat up here, huh? She's like, yeah, I did. I was like, no, you didn't, bro. I was like, because we just tracked you from the moment you walked into the... I was like, because she didn't even fucking come in, bro. She didn't even go in on the Saturday. She didn't come to the gym. Mm-hmm. She told her mom she'd go to the gym at night. This bitch ended up going to like a party, got beat up at the party, oh. told her mom it happened at the gym. Oh. So her mom was fucking pissed at us. Oh. And then like, I was like, what time you check in? I ran her thing. I was like, your last check-in was like Tuesday. You, didn't yeah. even, you weren't even here. Damn. And I told her mom, I was like, you can tell your mom... Or I'm gonna I'll snitch you. Out. I was. I'm gonna snitch you out. I was like, I'm gonna snitch you out. <laughs> yeah. The mom is fucking pissed, dog. Yeah. Like she's not trying to listen. I was like, ma'am, the truth is, your daughter was never here last night. She hasn't checked into that show. Your daughter hasn't checked into this gym t- since Tuesday. Like, she got beat up for sure. I mean, I was like, <laughs> I was like, she definitely the got black beat up. real. I was like, I mean, she definitely got fucked up, but yeah. it didn't happen here. And she goes, What are you talking about? I believe my daughter and this and that. I'm like, Here's the camera. We're not supposed to show people the cameras, but I let this. Mom, no, I was like, your daughter said she came here at 7, right? It was 7 to 7.20. Your daughter never came in. Yeah. And she's like, 
starts yelling at her daughter. And then she's like, where were we? She's like, I went to a party. This bitch smacks the shit out of her daughter, bro, right in For front real? of us. Yeah. It was me and Jada. Smacks the fuck out of her, bro. Gets, makes the other eye black, dog. And then I was like, holy shit. Grabs her by the hair. The daughter falls. She grabs her by the hair. Why are you lying? And I was like, hey, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh. what the fuck did I just start? And then I'm like, hey. I like go, I'm like, hey, you guys can't do that shit here, bro. Like, you guys need to get the fuck. I told the mom, I was like, you need to get the fuck out of here. I'm going to call the police yeah. and shit. And she's <laughs> like, bitten. she's like, she's like, oh, I'm so sorry. She's like, and she's like, go away from me in the car, pendeja. And she fucking smacks her again, again. bro. Again. Again. And the, mind you, this fucking girl's face is already fucked up. <laughs> like she has a black eye. Her fucking nose is like fucking purple too. No. Damn. The mom beat the shit out of her. And then the mom goes, I'm so sorry that I yelled at you guys and everything. She's like, um, my daughter's a lying bitch. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I'm I'm so embarrassed. I was like, bro, like, yeah, bitch, you made a fool of yourself. Like, you was in your yelling at me, like, no. the fuck? And then she fucking, uh, she fucking takes off, bro. And then I don't hear for that. And then another time, another time, this is fucked up. Uh-huh. I blame this shit on someone else, though. Yeah. But there is this car parked in the handicap, and you can't park in that shit. Yeah. We had, like, three old people complain. Yeah. There was no sticker on it, nothing. I didn't see nothing. Yeah. So I go and put a sticky note on this motherfucker's door. <laughs> I was like, you can't park here unless you're handicapped. Bruh. <laughs> what happened? It was your car? <laughs> the motherfucker, <laughs> the motherfucker, like, leaves, comes, sees a sticky note, comes back in, and he's like, who put this note on my door? And I was like, oh, I don't know. I <laughs> 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 was you, though. <laughs> You, just, <laughs> you bitched up. But here's the thing. Here's I didn't bitch up. Here's my thing. Uh, this motherfucker had like he was a paraplegic. He had like no leg. <laughs> so when he was walking out, I was like, I was watching. I was like, please don't go to that fucking range. I was like, please don't go to that range, bro. Please don't walk here. to that range. Goes to the range, opens the door, looks at the sticky note, grabs it, and he's like, the fuck. And he goes because he's I actually was, handicapped. Yeah, bro. He oh. just didn't have a fucking tag. It turns out the tag's on his license plate. Oh, yeah, yeah, shit. yeah. And I'm like, he's like, who puts this on my door? I was like, oh, I don't know, bro. I don't know nothing about that. <laughs> Comes in with one leg. I don't, I don't know nothing about that, bro. He's like, well, I need to talk to whoever because this is some bullshit. He's like, they're going to tell me I'm not handicapped. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, trying not to laugh, bro. Yeah. I'm just like, fuck. And luckily, like, man at the time was gone. So it was just me. Me and this new fucking kid. And I was like, oh, I don't know, bro. Like, there was a guy that was just in here. I just took over his shift. That might have been him. He's like, what's his name? I was like, I don't know, dog. Like, <laughs> I don't work the shift. He's like, well, what's corporate's number? And I have to give him corporate's number. This motherfucker calls. He and calls like, corporate? He calls corporate, tells him that shit. Damn. And fucking. This whole time, you like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I fucked up. I was like, whoa, shit, that's fucked up. I was like, damn, whoever did that's a bitch. I was, <laughs> I was all cool him, like, on his side. I was like, damn, bro, whoever did that, he ain't shit. Like, that's fucked up. Damn. And then he was like, um, I was like, but here's the thing, though. He couldn't tell if it was from an employee here or not. Yeah. I was like, well, how do you know that was one of the employees here? He's like, well, who the fuck else would do it? I was like, I don't know, bro. Like, people are fucking crazy. Don't call, don't get your shit towed, like, at a Walmart. They don't even work there. Like, yeah. he's like, oh, you're right. He's like, well, I still want to talk to corporate. And but he couldn't prove that like one of us did it and shit. So yeah. he was gonna sue the fuck out of us though. Damn. Bro, he was gonna sue us. Yeah, got a bag. Fucking white people, he's got a suit, was bro. Big though, dude. He yeah. was like six two. He how was like you, you, but like how much you, you think, were, how much you think he was weighing at? Bro, I've seen this for work out. This motherfucker throws weight. Like throws he does weight? that like hang clings, Olympic style of training. Oh shit. Like he's 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 fucking horny. he's real. He's <laughs> <horny>. <laughs> <laughs> I was fucking yeah, but I felt bad. I was like, oh, fuck. You guys think drinking out affects your, like, gym output? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Sometimes you be tired, bro. <laughs> Is it better to jerk off before or after the gym? After. After. You ever jerked off during the gym? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> like in the restroom, like in the shower? I don't use a Benny, shower. Benny, I know you jacked off in one of the, like, the fucking gym bathrooms, bro, like in the shower. No. Well, I wouldn't even take a shit at the gym. I would sit on the stall. <laughs> fuck no. <laughs> You I called one of my friends one time and that shit, bro. Drinking off? No, I was just I was going to wash my hands mm-hmm. and then this motherfucker sees me through the crack. <laughs> oh, he goes, Benny boy. Benny boy. <laughs> I look back, I'm like, what the fuck Benny was that? Boy. Benny boy. He's all, it is, it's, he's all, it's me. I won't say his name, but he's like, it's me, Jaden. And I was just like, 
what the fuck? I was like, bro, don't have a cop with me right now. <laughs> Take, taking a shit. Taking mid a shit. shit. He just... <laughs> <laughs> and he's over here like, yeah, fool, what you hitting today? <laughs> what what, like, what do you do when the fucking mid pre-workout shits hit? <laughs> I don't know, bro. Sometimes you got to just tough it out. Yeah. Depends on how bad it is. I've had to go home. Before, because like I've had you to take, take a shit at the gym, man. No, you will not take okay. a shit. Dude, you don't you, understand. You do not. not take a shit bro, at the gym? No, they're nasty, dog. especially dude. Guys are fucking gross, dog. Yeah, like, dude. Fucking gross. dudes are disgusting. They, bro, I be taking shits anywhere. Yeah, we, we know that. <laughs> we know that. No, well, dude. Motherfuckers in the gym be nasty, bro. They. I did one time. And this is because it was bad. So you just hold that shit. I had bro? just got there. Like, no, you, you sometimes it? I don't have to go. Like I can mm-hmm. feel it. Like you know, Rolling. it's a gamble, bro. It's a gamble. I can feel that shit roasting, but it's, like it's a gamble. Yeah, but you, you know, hold like, that shit. You know when you gotta like take a shit. Yeah. You're like, I gotta get the fuck out of here. Yeah, One time yeah. I had just got there. You just go home. Yeah, I'll fucking just go, just home, go home. And I'm like, yeah, I'll fucking work out another day. Fuck it. Yeah, I'll do some push ups right here or some shit, but. One time I had to take a shit bad, bro. Like that shit was bubbling in my stomach. I started to feel it like right here. And I was like, oh. so I went to the handicapped fucking bathroom because that one's always clean. Yeah. And you can lock it. Like it's an individual, you can lock it and shit. But you're all in there shy. You're trying to go fast. And this motherfucker's like <laughs> <laughs> And you're like, oh fuck. And when you and you and when you leave that bathroom, like everyone stares oh at you God, by the dumbbells. Bro. So everyone, everyone knew I was staring at you. The- like, damn, this motherfucker was taking a shit. Yeah, bro. <laughs> I got out, bro. I get out. Everyone just <laughs> no. <laughs> or, like, or they're like this. They're like this. They're like so. They just <laughs> <laughs> because the fucking ba- that that bathroom, stinking. that individual bathroom, is right next to the freeways for all the benches. Oh yeah, the, right where there. Where everyone the just lifts dumbbells. Like the most popular area. Yeah. And they're just... You walk out of that, <laughs> everybody's seeing you're you, You're just bro. like... <laughs> just walk your booty thing. Yeah. For real, your ass all hot. <laughs> ass all warm. Booty, booty Toilet thing. seat all warm and shit. For real. Fuck, bro. No, but I get out, bro. When I got out, I open the door. This motherfucker in like one of those scooter wheelchairs <laughs> was just waiting. <laughs> no. I was like, oh, oh shit. That's the worst off when you take a big ass mean doo-doo and somebody has to go. They just yeah. go right after you. I had some fool in a wheelchair one time be a dick to me. Like, yeah. Because I was, one of my homies was at a cable next to me. Yeah. And he's like in a scooter wheelchair. Yeah. And we're just chopping it up. We're talking, you know. Mind you, yeah, we probably should have just fucking, I probably should have just kept working out and not got distracted. Yeah. We were talking for like five minutes. This fool's like, by the men's restroom, and he's he has his girl. He has like I don't know if his girl, daughter or his girlfriend, watching me, and then I'm just chopping it up with uh, my friend Jose, and he comes up to me. He's like, "Hey, bro, how much longer you got on this?" And I was like, "Oh, I just started, bro." He's like, "Are you sure, man? Because I've seen you talk here the entire time." <laughs> <laughs> He checked you. That fool pressed the action on my ass. You standing on business. I had to. All right, this is what I told him after this. I said. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> bro, you did it, bro. I said, you the, I was like, you the the fuck? I was shook and I was like, the fuck? You did I was not like, say the fuck. I, didn't, I said the fuck. I was like, no, you did it. You I did paused for a second fuck. and I was like, he bullshit. He bullshit. He, bullshit. he, bullshit. he said, he was like, no, oh, I'm sorry, man. I'll get right No, nah, fuck no. Hell nah, nah. You did Hell nah. Nah. He did, fuck bro. No. This fool, if, the, if you would have came up to me nicer, I would have been like, okay, my bad, bro. Mm-hmm. I'll, you can have it. This fool came up to me like a dick yeah. and just like, was like, well, I've just seen you talking this whole time, bro. What the, like, what the fuck? And mm-hmm. I was just like, the fuck, bro? So calm down, bro. I got here first. Mm-hmm. He's like, well, I need to use it. I was like, there's one, two, three, four, and there's a whole other fucking side over there that has them. Mm-hmm. I was like, go use those. Mm-hmm. I was like, now I'm going to fucking do a different workout on this after this one because yeah. you pissed me off. Yeah. And shit, and he would just. You did not tell him this, like, bro. What the fuck is this motherfucker in a wheelchair gonna do to me? <laughs> <laughs> That's why I told him that shit. That's why he gonna do to me. That's why I got fucked, bro. Damn, fuck. bro. That's crazy. Now, if he had just one leg, it'd be a different story. Okay, I'd be like, oh, my bad. But no, if he was nicer, I'd have been like, oh, shit, I get it. Yeah. But you come up to me a dick, then I'm gonna be a dick back. Exactly. Give a fuck if you're in a wheelchair now. Exactly. Damn. Press the issue with me. Yeah. Press the issue. <laughs> Press the issue. It's always motherfuckers with no legs starting shooting me at the gym. <laughs> <laughs> the handicapper handi- 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 onto you, bro. No, I don't like handicapper onto you, them uh, that community, bro. They don't fuck with your ass, bro. <laughs> Would you rather go to the gym and forget your headphones or not see your gym crush? For, 
like, oh, no, nah, see my gym crush? <laughs> no, see your gym crush? I fucking hate when I don't have my headphones. That Whoa. shit. I mean, you lock in, but you're just like, fuck. Yeah. No, headphones suck. It sucks. Yeah. That shit's ass. That shit actually just happened to me, like, For real? <clears throat> Friday night. I want to die or some bullshit. Yeah. Luckily, the gym uh, TR play has a fucking sick-ass playlist they, they play, so I was like, all right. Shut up. Bunch of... It's like, <laughs> <laughs> So <laughs> Y'all been thinking of rock, I've been thinking of rocking my mustache like this. Like, what? I've been thinking of rocking my mustache like this. Bro, you're already uglier. Yeah, <laughs> upwards. Don't do you don't do that don't to do yourself, that to yourself, bro. bro. Come on, bro. Nah. Up, It'd be your own you fucking you up. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be praying on your own downfall. Nah, for real. It's only up for you. Every bro. year you're like, how can I get uglier this year? <laughs> <laughs> how can I fuck up my appearance? <laughs> how can I keep the bitches away for another year? <laughs> how can I scare the hoes for next year? <laughs> Ain't no one ever tried to start shit with you at the gym? What? Like just like oh, to you or nothing? Uh nah. No. Nah, I just be chilling. Bro, well, that's cause Lonzo gets like equipment and goes into a corner and just like it, the entire time we'll just sit in the corner just doing his workout. Cause you he knows play. Yeah. I don't like his <laughs> I don't like being bothered, bro. It's like I'm when sorry. he knows his place. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, B. Damn, B. Nah, I do just be fucking <laughs> grabbing all my shit bro, and taking. This, bro, this fool would have a section at Vasa, like in the back where the racquetball is. That'd be like Lonzo's like area, bro. Yeah, this like fool it, would have like six different dumbbell weights, <laughs> an easy bar. We'll set up a cage. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put turf there. Shit. Go cut it out. Bro, bro. This fool was getting. This fool was getting comfortable, dog. Bro, that'd be so like, funny if someone did that. Like they go to the turf fields. Bro, one of my bro. Bro, one of my cooking. best friend, my best friend owns or runs that bitch, bro. He, what you gonna tell me? That'd be funny though. Me shit. Go to the turf, bring a knife, cut, <laughs> <laughs> take it over to the, the corner. corner. Be funny, no. He, he brings like his own like grass. And he just rolls it. Out. <laughs> 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 like, nah, bro. It. Just bring a bag of grass, like the shit that we cut from work. Yeah. Just bring it in. And just, just dump it out. Crazy, <laughs> bro. <laughs> No, I'm pretty sure Eric would be like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, <laughs> you need to fucking stop doing this shit. Nah, <laughs> you can't funny. move like that at goals, though. Fuck no. That's funny, bro. I'll tell you something. They're cool. a lot stricter over there. Fuck yeah. Dude, what's different about them is like... They actually care. <laughs> yeah, bro. It's clean. You just, like If you need 45s, they're gonna, like plates, they're going to be exactly where it's labeled at. Fucking Vasa will say 45 pounds. You'll have like 10s <laughs> on there. You're like, what the fuck? All is mismatched yeah. and shit. Fuck the... Fuck no. You got fucking dumbbells in the sauna <laughs> in at Basel. It's like, what the <laughs> fuck is going on? Yeah, yeah, you do, bro. bro. I was like, what? Dumbbells in the Matt, sauna. Matt's in the racquetball court. Turf, oh, my turf God. Turf in the pool. Bro. Turf <laughs> in the pool. <laughs> no, no, no water in the pool. No water, and if it is, it's like brown ass water, bro. Like, <laughs> shit. One time, because the if you don't do the chemicals right, it'll turn the pool a different color. It's clean, but it don't look clean. Yeah. And shit. I remember one time some people fuck with the pool heavy. Like, yeah. bad. You'd be surprised. Mm-hmm. Motherfuckers are coming over pissed off. Like, well, when's the pool guinea pigs? It's good, bro. It just it just looks weird, but you can get in that bitch if you want. Yeah. And shit. And this one guy got in there when it was brown as fuck. Ugh. Like, brown, dude. It was like shit water. Yeah. And he was having... It looked like Ian. <laughs> he was having the time of his life, bro. <laughs> Motherfucker was doing Pilates and shit. backwards and shit. <laughs> he saw some... <laughs> Let's wrap it up, bro. I'm trying to finish this Colts game. Watch porn after. No one gives a fuck about your Colts way. We had a good time in the gym. We're gonna get good clips from that shit. Hopefully, we go viral on that shit. I've been just tagging Alpha Land, bro, and I feel like the community there has just been watching the the gym the gym clips. So we'll see what happens yeah. there. Thank you guys for watching, Mama Shota. Till next time, make sure to pay for a shout out. Go to the Patreon. Thank you, Benny. Thank you, Lonzo. Till the next episode of the Yay Podcast. Mwah.